It's been a few days, but we are back and we got some work to do. Hey, uh, what's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Pennsylvania. Today, we are getting some mowing done and we're going to be getting ready for a harvest for the next year. Oh boy, we are all over the place. Forgot how heavy this is. Also, I'm running some new recording settings. Uh, sometimes they're great, but other times, as you just saw, it gets a little bit jittery. I have no idea how to fix that. I've quite literally been all over, like literally all over the internet, scouring, trying to find how to fix that. And I have no idea. So if you guys know, you see like sometimes it's perfect. Like it's absolutely perfect. And then sometimes it'll go like right there. Why can't it just be perfect all the time? I don't know, but something's up and I don't know how to fix it. So we are going <laughs> to just get some mowing done, man. I think we're swath dropping. Yes, we are. We are going to get all this mowed up right here. We're going to go inside the horse pasture over there. We're going to get that mowed up as well. we got quite a bit to do, but we're not going to be doing all of it on screen. So we're just going to go ahead and try and knock this out, get this done real quick. We're going to collect it all. We're going to be doing uh, stro or, uh, grass. It's just going to be loose grass. We're going to pick it up. We're going to put it in our silo. And, uh, and that's going to be going towards uh, cattle. And it's also going to be going towards sheep at the end of next year as well. So um, I say the end of next year. The end of this year. We're still in year one. We're barely through, man. It's early autumn in year one. And we have literally years to go through. We may have to change our... Uh, <laughs> Our economic difficulty down because easy mode we have already made probably close to two million dollars just in year one alone up to this point and we haven't even sold any crops yet oh yeah it's good baby things are good we got it all baby it is all done and the game is glitchier than ever i don't know what i have done but i think maybe just maybe i might just have too many mods installed something like that uh i i got nothing man i got nothing if i come up here in the air go around sometimes it's fine it glitches out on one screen but not the other and then it like the preview's fine but my game's glitchy and other times it's backwards man i just want it to work I, this computer cost me five grand it should work just fine i don't know what's going on i'm real unhappy to say the least so i'm just gonna let that be you know what this video may be a few days late i'm not sure either way i'm gonna go delete like half of the mods that I've installed because a lot of this stuff is junk. All right, so here we are next day in game and I don't know if it's any better or not. It seems about the same as far as jitters go, that type of thing. Uh, it's a little bit better on my end. I've gone in and started messing with stuff, but you know what? We're just going to jump in. We've got some work to do, so we're just going to ignore this for now and hope that it goes away. Yeah, all right. We have some harvest to do. We have three of our fields, actually four of our fields, all soybeans tons and tons to get done yay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump in we're gonna try and get as much of the soybean done as possible yeah it's gonna take a little bit of time and yeah we should probably upgrade this combine but yeah i'm not gonna do it right so should we do it right now hold up a couple things uh number one let's go up to this let's customize i'm just curious to see here we don't need any extra horsepower. We've got plenty, but my curiosity... Okay, so we actually cannot completely upgrade this because I can't make the pipe any larger coming out the back. So the header is going to be exactly what it is no matter what we decide to do here. Okay, well, uh, then that's completely taken out my next ideas, which stinks, <laughs> but it is what it is. Let's enable straw swath. Let's bring the header down. Let's get it kind of open up a little bit. Rocking and rolling. And let's hit it, baby. Yeah, all right. Well, I say four fields. Yes, we have four fields to do. If we can bring this up real quick, you can see that we have not only 44, 45, and 46, but we also have field 25 as well, uh, which means that all the fields except for one that we have uh, currently will be running. Oh yeah, soybeans. Now, I talked about what the game plan is for whenever we change this over. All these fields that are on this side of the map are going to become our, our uh, grass fields. 
So these are, yay, what in the world? Yee. Uh, these are all going to turn into our grass fields. So we're going to be doing grass on all of the fields on this side of the map. And then we'll be doing all of our standard crops on the other sides, which means that there will be no grass fields on the other side. I know that the first time that we went through the uh, series with uh, Bucks County, we actually used a lot of grass fields on the other side. Well, that is no longer going to be the case. So sit back, relax. We still got a whole lot more work to go. Let's hit a bunch of these fields. Let's see what we can get done. Most of everything is done. If we boom out, you can actually see right here that we have finished up 46 and 45. We're getting ready to hit 44. And then honestly, field 25 is going to be the easiest because I'm going to run two headlands. And I know that field works great with workers. So while that's being worked on, I'm going to go do a few other things. Uh, like try and figure out why my computer's so glitchy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so mad about that. You have no idea. Uh, the So the harvesting videos right here, what the past couple clips, these have actually been quite literally like four hours after the other ones were. Mainly because I was trying to get a computer fixed. I was like, maybe if I delete a bunch of mods, it'll work. And it's just as bad, maybe if not worse. And there's just a bunch of settings in the computer that aren't playing well together. I don't know what it is. I replaced a monitor with a 1440p monitor from the 4K monitor. I'm thinking about putting the 4K monitor back. Um, I, I asked a friend and somebody said, well, maybe you're pushing too many frames. I was like, well, I'm not maxing out, so I can't be pushing too many. They were like, well, maybe bring the, uh, the visual quality down of your game. I was like, no, nah, I'm all right. I'm not going to do that. That's, that's crazy talk. You can get out of here with that. They were like, well, maybe you're just pushing it too hard. I was like, I have a 39 day. <laughs> so, you know, just not happy all around. Just kind of one of those days. What are you going to do about it, right? All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'll tell you what. We're going to finish up all of the harvesting, and then we will go from there. I'm not really sure exactly what there would be to do past that, to be completely honest with you. Um, I'm thinking about turning precision farming back on because I've now learned that the soybeans on the field was not an issue the soybeans on the field was just a problem that i had because i didn't know that you couldn't fertilize soybeans i mean you could but there's no reason to so yeah that's that's where we are now how about that all right let's finish up here all righty so we have some bells to pick up we've got all of our fields harvested i uh, see we've got 16 bells total made right there we come over all of our fields are done and what i've done is i put all the bells like on the ends down here so we just go by that bloop got a couple more right here so i don't think i've ever done this before well i mean i make it 50 000 liter bell so it's kind of easy to do but it also makes it difficult when you have to go around an entire field to find like a couple bells so i just put them all on the end and that seemed to work really really well also, I've got a couple ideas for making this whole field right here one big grass field. So I'm real excited about that. And I have decided we will be selling field 25. Normally, I don't like to sell stuff, especially fields after I purchase them. But, you know, we're going to be getting some good contracts off this field. Plus, we don't have any contracts on the fields that we actually will own over by the other field. So we need another good crop field and this one's just a little bit farther away from the main field than i would like it to be but that's okay uh we should also make some real darn good money from all these uh soybean uh straw bells which is very nice as you can see right here i just kind of unloaded all the bells right at the end of course i didn't get to do it all for every row but it worked just fine also uh, i'm using a different program now i was using obs just to uh, record i'm using Streamlabs. I don't know if it's going to be any better, man. I got to be honest with you. Let's go through here. Let's see if we can find ourselves a good place for all of this soybean straw. So let's find our soybean straw. Right there it is. We'll click on it. And Eureka Farms it is, which I believe is right there. So set down to Eureka Farms. Do we need any fuel? It doesn't look like it. I think we're going to be okay. Not too bad. Let's get down there. We'll sell all these. And then we're going to dump all of our crop out. It's going to be time to sell and buy some... Ooh, nope, nope, nope. That's not the right one. Let's, uh, it'll be time to uh, sell a field, buy a field. Bill's in. What are we going to get? 277 grand. 
A. I like that. That's a good amount. So we've got uh, 577. On top of that, we are going to have another 478. So we're going to have well over a million dollars just for field purchases. Taking a look at the fields that I know that we want to purchase. Field 16, 100%. This one, whatever number that is, it's not even one. And field 18 as well. Uh, as we have done before, field 18 and that grass field beside it will become one field. And uh, we will make that into one big old field. But we have to plow it all up. Yikes, first. Kill. Cool. All right, so this is this. Let's go ahead and grab our combine. We'll get all the crop into the silo. Now we got 37,000 liters of soybeans off of that field, but we actually got more than that because I ran two headlands before unloading it. So we're gonna go ahead and unload this and we will get our total number, which we go over and we should see a ridiculous number. <laughs> yeah, very ridiculous. Just off of year one, 262,000 liters of soybeans. That is money right there. So is the canola. I'm a little scared. We got a whole lot. That's great. So uh, it is uh, mid-autumn and uh, well, that doesn't mean that we're done. However, we are done, at least for right now, at least for the year. So we're gonna go ahead and come in here, we'll go ahead and buy field 16. How much money we got left over? 670. So that's plenty of money to buy both of these bad boys right here. We could also t make all this one big field. That's actually not a bad idea. Even though field 17 is a little small in comparison. We'll go ahead and buy that. We'll go ahead and take care of that. All right, so now we've got $165,000 left. And that is going to be sheep money. Hey, yeah, boy. So we are in night. It is a very, very, very dark. And we have just gotten something insane. Transport company, Canola, the thing that we're waiting to sell tomorrow in game, $2,700. Bruh, that never, ever happens. Here's what I think I'm going to do. I think I'm going to take full advantage of the situation. I already had this locked up, kind of ready to rock and roll, but I think we're going to go ahead and sell the Canola over there at the transport company. Let's see, we've got all 262,000 liters of... Uh, weed over here oh weed soybeans over here and i think i've decided on the next investment and i think it's going to be a truck and trailer new ones not gonna go old school or old style matter of fact speaking of let's go ahead and turn that time all the way down um i am not gonna go old school new school stuff i'm actually looking at a volvo and something new it just came out. Yo, where's transport company, by the way? I gotta move my water bottle. I can't even see it. Man, it's all the way down there. Woo, we got a long ways to, don't hit me, please, thank you. We got a long ways to go. Uh, I will show you the truck that I'm looking at is, I believe it's the NL or ND series, something like that. Let's see, wait for it, wait for it. Hey, there she is, NL10. I'm looking at this, maybe dual axle, probably gonna go with a single. Uh, white with chrome wheels, and then I'm also thinking about the new, uh, I don't even remember what it's called, the, the single bottom uh, Wilson trailer, the one that Mantrude made. I'm so sorry, Mantrude, I forgot what it's called. Uh, anyway, so I'm thinking about that. It's a little bit more expensive. We've got the money, but I've got a good feeling that we're about to have more of the money. Guys, I'm gonna tell you right now, I have never been this far down here before. I have no idea where I'm going. All I know is that we're going up into here somewhere. Let's see, and then it should be here on our right. Is that correct? This looks like the place. Please be the right place. I imagine it is, and I imagine we're gonna get some real darn good money. Let's just double check real quick. So we have transport company. We have canola, 2,700 bucks. Okay, give me that cash. <laughs> oh, the money's going up way too fast. Oh, it's going up so fast. There's a 200, we're halfway sold now. Oh man, yo, that money is creeping up, boys. So what are we gonna get for a full load? It is $115,000. Yes, sir. How much do we have left? We still got $50,000 more. So we've still got another, what, track and a half, I think? 
Yeah, because we can only own 40,000 liters, so we're going to have to make this trip two more times. Yikes. Trip number two. Yeah. Yo, forget that truck. I am cool making this trick. We're going to make a whole lot more. Darn it. There we go. Get a little dump, dump, dump. There we go. Uh, you know what? I'm looking now, instead of that, I'm looking at buying like a whole nother farm, with like another field and stuff. Maybe some ex expanding a little bit. I was going to wait another year, but let's see. Where are we at right now? Another 150 and 395. All right. So we've got one more load over here. It's about uh, nine, 10,000 liters. We're going to find out what our total number is. Tell you what, in the dark, this is very, very difficult. Nonetheless, we are. Right, we are. All right. All right. Let's do this final dump right here. And we have made, whoop, wait for it, 22 grand off that. All right, so we're up to $417,000. Not bad, not bad at all. We can go ahead and uh, fast forward some time. I think we're not gonna fast forward time. We are gonna go try and relocate ourselves to a home and sleep through the night because it seems to be a little bit better off that way, especially for contracts and getting the game reset, it kind of gives itself a little bit of a boost. So we're not gonna speed through the night. We will instead go sleeping. So I'm gonna head over there and we'll figure out what we're gonna do in the morning. I know we're getting pretty close to the end of this one. So we may call it right here, I think. And that is exactly where we are gonna leave it. We are now in the next morning and tomorrow in game. This is autumn number three. So winter one is when we're gonna be selling our oats. Remember wheat and barley, we save for our chickens. However, oats, we don't need those, so we're gonna be selling the oats. So join us then, it's gonna be a whole lot of fun. And let me know, was the game glitchy? Was it crashy? Was it unwatchable? Was it fine and am I overreacting? Probably a little bit of all three. Oh well, all that being said, I hope you guys have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.